I really like in the middle of the song, you go, been a long time. It hasn't really been that since it was yesterday. It hasn't been a long time. The song is not accurate. Why did we pick it? Um, next to the stage to answer all those detailed Detroit questions. Yeah, Mr. Detroit, we call him. Detroit. I can't think of any time we haven't gotten to a deep detroit based oh, conversation. This, this kid knows everything about the Detroit Tigers. Oh, man. Just, we'll, we'll, I, let's, I, let's, I don't want to ruin it. Just get your Detroit Tiger questions ready for our next guest. Big Al Calvert! talking and literally take the hat off and toss it aside. <laughs> I'm backstage, it's just like, yeah, he loves the Detroit. I'm like, literally, I'm like, ah, oh, gotta fix my hair. I gotta, gotta switch things up, because I'm not ready. Uh, not ready for this line of questioning, guys. I understand. Well, you know, whatever. Uh, Al. Big Al. Big Al. Big Al Cal. Have you, have you been to Denver before? I have not been here before. What do you... <laughs> By the way, that's a weird thing. Cheer for. They're like, don't come back. You've never been here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but now, I've been to Aurora. Yeah. yeah. Second day, he still hasn't been to Denver. But have you gotten out and about? Have you gone to see anything? No, I have not, Rich. Attaboy. <laughs> I, I missed the uh, I missed the bus tour. So. Uh, the, oh, you would have not learned anything about Denver from Ruth. Ruth has <laughs> Yeah, I was like, Ruth seems like a natural selection to, uh... Well, they call it the Scotland of Colorado. That's what, yes. it, that's what they say. It really made perfect sense. Where are you guys doing the next bus tour? Uh, th another city we know nothing about. Charlotte, Charlotte North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. Ah! You know what's great? Every time I see Robert Mitch, they say, Oh my God, I have so much to tell you about North Carolina. About yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina. Please, yeah. please. May I bend your ear about Charlotte, they said? We're, we're like you in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, you know, Tigers. Tigers are very cool. <laughs> Did you learn that the Detroit Tigers were a team when you heard us talking about it on stage? Or? It was quite a surprise. Yeah. Uh, I thought the D was for Denver. Uh, <laughs> Understood. I've learned so much this trip, thanks to these guys and David. So. You're so welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Al Cal. Thanks, guys. Uh, while they leave stage, uh, how good were these guys last night? Oh my god. Yeah, unbelievable. I was like, well, if you guys were here, I was fired up. Uh, and yeah, they're so talented. So I really have a tough act to follow by having only one talent. Uh, yeah. How are you guys? Perfect. Perfect. That guy's really good at that. <laughs> Uh, so I'll do the Denver bit right away. Uh, backstage there was some really delicious looking cookies and I ate half a cookie before pausing to think, oh no. Uh, just, just having that micro panic second where you, there's a possibility, I'm just like, oh my Q&A could go real bad. <laughs> yes, bad. Uh, you know, I'd be like, guys, it's all about getting out into nature. Just... That's what this city's all about, man. You know, it's with the show. It's just like, you know, a lot of connections. Anyway, so, <laughs> thankfully the cookies were just delicious and uh, won't take me down any kind of scary alleys today. Uh, so let's hope for the best. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Krista. Hi, Krista. I'm doing Mad Libs. from you, please. Person, place, or thing? Yes, yes please. <laughs> hmm. David Hayden Jones. Does that work? Yeah, and I have a slight announcement. Um, we're going to try to do a J and J question for this, so okay. uh, we will try to um, Finishes up with the Kings of Khan, okay? Woo! Keep me, keep me posted. Okay. 
Thanks. I'm having a lot of dad controversy lately. It's uh, it's been interesting. I've never had so many fathers at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask. I personally think Jack fits really well into Team Free Will. That I almost wish he was on the show earlier. Team Free Will. Woo! That's also my Detroit voice. Detroit. <laughs> If you could have him come at an earlier time in the show and join Team Free Will a little earlier, what time in the show would you choose? Okay, you guys are going to have to help me out with this, but uh, I saw this great photo of Jared backstage where he has these very large sideburns. <laughs> Can anyone tell me what season that was? Six. Seven, six? Seven. Six. You guys, you guys are having... I need a... Okay, <laughs> I'll say one of those seasons because I'd want to see... How Jack would fit into that uh, that selection of sideburns. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Yo. Hi, Alex. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I have also a Jack question for you. Um, That's good because I only play one character on the show. So. Uh, oh, good. I made a yeah, good choice. This, then. You, you you did it great. You're doing awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. What sort of role do you think Jack would most enjoy on a hunt? Is he more in the research, or in the fight, or in the interviews? Where does he fit in? Hmm. Like? Uh, we've kind of seen Jack do a little bit of the research when he was trying to be helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would like to see him get into more kind of the, you know, being on the front line of it. Uh, he really looks up to, to Sam and Dean and how they can kind of pop in any situation. I think now that Jack has lost his powers, mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of looking to be more part of that role and how he can be useful to the brothers by uh, taking on new roles. Thank you for joining our family. Thank you for having me, guys. Jeez. I uh, think I want to add on that. When, when people are like, thanks for coming, I'm like, no, no, like, thank you guys for coming. Because uh, this is, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it recently, but there was the, the like, Supernatural fan documentary. Did anybody see the trailer for this? Yes. Okay, but it gave me, I, I think it was made a couple years ago, but it's now like trying to uh, get out there. But you just see, for me, even people that I recognize in the trailer from the, from the conventions and uh, seeing how it has impacted people's lives is always such a nice reminder. So thank you guys for being here. Hello. Hi. I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm going to faint. This is cool. Oh my god. Please don't faint. Uh, <laughs> I got this. Okay. Next question. Um, so I love yours and Jenna's relationship. You guys are like perfect. And so I'm wondering, you guys travel a lot. And you go a lot of cool places. And so I'm wondering what your favorite vacation with her, what your favorite memory there has been. Um, I guess we have been to a lot of places. Uh, yes. I guess probably going to, we went to Nicaragua years ago, um, and uh, I had never really traveled to anywhere like as cool as that, I guess, but uh, Jenna literally was like, put her finger down on the map, and she's like, we're going here. I was like, okay. I didn't really ask any questions. So uh, I'd say that one was probably one of my favorite trips just because I got to go to a country that I otherwise wouldn't even have considered. Is there a specific thing that made it so special? Um, we went to, there's, this, there's these things called the, the Corn Islands and they're on the Caribbean side of Nicaragua mm -hmm. and they are untouched and like insanely beautiful. So I, I highly recommend a trip there. If you guys, you know. <laughs> Although when you come back from Nicaragua, they will ask you, I got questioned at the border, they're like, why did you pick Nicaragua? And I was like, well, my girlfriend picked it. So like, <laughs> yeah. Blame and the guy was like, well, why Nicaragua? I'm like, you're not listening to me. Uh, <laughs> you think I made this choice? <laughs> no. Lots of photos. No. So I just was like, I'm going to say here. Yeah, thanks. Hey. Hi there. <laughs> My name is Jesse. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Careful. <laughs> Sorry, butterflies. Um, all good. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, were you a fan of... Well, first of all, I want to say you are amazing in the show. I love your character. Um, Thank you very much. And I was wondering, were you a fan of the show before you got the role? And also, how has your life changed since you've been Jack? <laughs> in re reality. 
in reality or on the show? Uh, I, I didn't really know a lot about the show other than like uh, being from Vancouver, you could always see the filming sites around, so I'd drive by, or I have, uh, I've had friends who have been guest stars before, or just people who have worked on the show in general. Um, so I knew about it more so about its kind of positive reputation, uh, especially in, in Vancouver and like how great a set it is and how professional everybody is. So you'd heard about it that way. And then, uh, I mean, people always ask her like, how did your life change? All I need to do is like take a picture of like this. And they'd be like, yeah, that's how my life has changed. Uh, Previous to this, uh, I'd never got to have any kind of interaction like this before. So I'd say that's been the, the biggest thing that's happened to me in the last year. I was literally looking at my phone backstage and uh, I found a photo from December 2nd of last year when I did like my first convention. And uh, Rich took a photo of me with the thing and I was looking at that today and I was like, oh, wow. So that would be the biggest change for me. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Hi. Hi. First of all, I watched the package for about five times, and I loved you in it. I love that scene where you were dramatically vaping in the lime green Jeep. That was A-plus yep. a content. Uh, A-plus vaping, guys. A-plus. <laughs> um, anyway, my question is, is also about movies. What's the weirdest movie you've ever seen? That I've ever seen? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I've seen, I feel like I've seen so many weird movies that you're just like, ah, what am I doing here? <laughs> what would be like your weird movie that you've seen? Um, well, I was raised on this movie called Monkey Bum with Brendan Fraser. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's Sorry, fucking Monkey weird. Bum? Monkey Bum. Bum, yes. It's basically about this cartoon monkey that possesses this guy's body and has sex with his wife. <laughs> it's what I was raised on. <laughs> Are your parents here? Because I think you should. Well, luckily. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I, I, okay, I, I, I can't top that. Uh, I feel like I might have to look that one up on Netflix just for fun now. I don't think it's on Netflix. Brandon <laughs> Fraser. Yeah. And Monkey Fraser just has sex with your wife. Dope. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Alex. I'm Kirsten. Hi. Sorry, I'm really nervous. I just want to say, like, I love you so much, and I, like, fell in love with you the second you joined the show. So, like, wow. your character is amazing, and you're amazing, and that was really embarrassing. I'm sorry. It's all good. Someone's proposed to me here, so it's fine. Uh, okay, um... So, you're in good company, I think. <laughs> So my question is, since I know Jensen and Jared and Nisha are all super close, and I know you kind of got to be brought into that family, I was just wondering what your experience has been like kind of becoming a part of the Supernatural family, both with the cast and then as a part of the fandom as a whole. Uh, it's really cool, because uh, I'm getting to know my castmates and the people that I work with here, along with you guys, almost kind of week by week. You know, each time you have, like, have a new experience or you see someone again, uh, there's this kind of this been this slow, I think like very natural kind of build to it where you're just kind of getting to know little things about people uh, along the way. Like, you know, for me, I found out that like Rob was in Waiting, which is this hilarious movie that I used to watch. Uh, maybe not as good as Monkey Butts, but. Uh, <laughs> Monkey bone? bone. Yes. yes. That's even worse than monkey bone. <laughs> wow. Uh, sorry, that took a turn for me there. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> see, I'm learning things as this process goes along as well. Uh, yeah, but just getting to know people in a, in a natural progression, or, you know, I'll see people that I know at Comic-Con now, which I would have never experienced before. So I think it's just been a nice process that way. Well, thank you so much. No worries. Hi. What's going on? Hi. Hey. Um, I just want to ask if you had any um, embarrassing moments on the show so far. <laughs> like recently, or like... I mean, again, if your clothes are off on set, it's uncomfortable. Like, it's just how it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, I don't... Besides that, everything else gets a lot easier. You know, it's once you've experienced that, you're really... The rest of it's fine. They're like, oh wait, I just have to eat a cheeseburger today? You're like, this is easy, this is fine. 
as long as I'm not eating the cheeseburger, like walking down a path naked, like I'm good, you know? Uh, yeah, I think that easily was the most uncomfortable part of it. Yeah, uh, thank you, yeah. The most embarrassing part was, I, I've told people this before, but like the week before I was supposed to start filming, I got a very embarrassing sunburn from like being at the lake too long. So they had to spray paint my like body color to match <laughs> the part of myself that I had burned. So uh, yeah, special thank you to the makeup team <laughs> for having to spray paint me. That was embarrassing. Sounds like it. Here we go. I found something more embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> Tell them about your embarrassing burn. Good. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Um, so I grew up really loving the movie uh, Kicking It Old School. Wow. Yeah. Yeah? And I don't know anyone actually who knows what that movie is. So. <laughs> Four um, other people here. You got to yeah. locate them, make a club, make a subreddit. It has. It's always been one of my favorites, so thank you for that. And uh, I was wondering if you have a signature dance move, and if, you, if so, can you show us? I definitely. <laughs> what I like about these is it slowly becomes, at first it's like, so good to have you, just like, we love the character, and then eventually it's like, so are you gonna sing and dance, or like, what is going on? Every concert now, they're like, hey, uh, hey, Calvert, uh, you sing? I'm just like, no, no singing, I'm good. And they're like, cool, man, cool. Playing instruments? Like, no, no, like, sorry. Yeah, uh, I'm really sorry I don't. Cool, cool, cool. You don't dance though, do you? <laughs> and I'm just like, what do I gotta, uh, who knows what I'll be doing by the end of this year. Uh, to no. be fair, you did a movie about brick dancing. I did, but the, I'm not gonna lie, the stunt double's doing the hard stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? The guy who's doing the head spin, not me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that guy was awesome. Signature dance move at this point, I think. Uh, robot. The robot. Mm, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think my signature dance move. Actually, if you were there last night, you would have seen my signature dance move. <laughs> it involved a lot of a lot of this by the drums. <laughs> uh, looking like a bad '80s dancer, and then also the signature. I think that's about as good as it got for me. Well, thank you. No worries. <laughs> but hey, if you'd like to come on stage and perform your signature dance move, I can still see you. The, the light's blaring in the eyes, but I see exactly where you are, so. What do you guys think? Should she? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do I get music? <laughs> I'm not, I'm like, how do I play music for you? <laughs> well, you, 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 you came up, so, can we please welcome her? <laughs> All right, sing this dance move, go. It's called the Tina? All right, I'm ready. I'm gonna have to incorporate that one into my. Uh... That would seem easy. It seems easy enough. Uh... <laughs> hey, what's going on? Um, so first, I'd just like to say that you're a huge inspiration. Everyone on the show is just so inspiring. And um, my question is, um, how or what advice would you have for younger actors um, just in the start of their career? Um. That's kind of hard to say. Uh, I guess just be kind to yourself, I guess, would probably be the thing I'd tell younger me. Uh, if you're too hard on yourself, I think you don't progress as much, and I think you learn less about yourself when you shut those versions of yourself off. So I think just be nice to yourself and know that like everything takes time, which is something I try to remind myself constantly, because I want everything immediately. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Hey. Hi. Um, I'm so nervous, I'm sorry. Um, You're good. 
Well, something Jack constantly struggles with is figuring out who he is or who he wants to be. So, which, which is something we all go through at some point in our lives. So, my question is, how do you feel about playing a character that people can relate and somehow feel connected to? Uh, I think it's I think it's just natural. I mean, I think for everyone here, there's obviously something I don't want to say profound, but like very important to you about these characters and what you kind of attach to and what you hang on to. Um, for me, I just try to make Jack as personal as I can uh, in terms of what I most relate to about him. And I think when you have you know our cast that can put so much of themselves into the character, I think it's just normal to to see yourselves in that maybe Jack or Sam or whoever, uh, just because of the truth of what those people bring to it. Um, I mean, I have the same thing, like, I relate to Jack. Um, and, you know, you watch movies because you're, you're learning about yourself and you're, and you're relating to these people in these circumstances. So, I think completely normal. Who would you relate to most? Jack, actually. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, I love That's you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, What's your shirt say? Uh, it says Rebel with a Cause. It's the Woo! latest kid. Woo! Woo! For some reason, I thought it said ketchup up top. Um, <laughs> I was like, there's a story here. There's a story here for sure. No. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Um, First of all, I just wanted to say you're really, really cool. And I really like your cat's Instagram page. It's really Thank you. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. <laughs> but um, I wanted to know, what kind of uh, pranks have you fallen victim to on set? Again, recently it's been less pranking, which has uh, been, you know, really nice for my life. I feel my nervous system calming down. I'm not watching my back, which means they might strike at any time. Um, yeah, never get comfortable. That's, that's the thing I've learned. The one I usually tell that I was like, again, most difficult for me and most like, was me being probably the most unprofessional, was just uh, me about to watch this video of Courtney Ford telling me how much she wanted to have a child, and how much she missed me, and how I was going to be a great son. <laughs> and it's a very important, meaningful thing for Jack's character. And, uh, you know, I get the video, I'm sitting in my bed, I'm ready to, like, have this beautiful thing be told to me. But instead, Jared hands me the computer, and it's just a bunch of dicks. <laughs> so, I tried really hard not to break. I tried really hard to stay, and I'm like, nope. Nope, don't break. And then I was like, and I'm done. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the good one, I think. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hey. Oh, okay, first of all, I love you, and thank you for being here. Thank you. And then, so my question is, did you know that when you started playing Jack that you would be, like, so loved and accepted this quick? No, I had no idea. Uh, you know, you really don't know how people are going to react to things until they're out. Uh, so that's, you know, I had really no clue. Um, but what I'm super, I'm super worried about the fact, like, if something bad goes wrong for Jack, like, you guys are going to blame me. <laughs> no, like, wait, how could you do this? And I'll be like, no, 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 like, I, this wasn't my choice. Uh, but no, I had no idea. You know, I was just trying to play a, you know, nougat loving alien and trying to <laughs> bring whatever I could to that. Yeah. Thank you. But thanks for liking me guys. It feels so nice.